Everyone at Ontario Shores has been rising up to ensure the delivery of quality mental health care throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Through Rising Up Conversations, we are proud to shine a light on individuals, teams, and disciplines who continue to go above and beyond to care for our patients and each other during these challenging times. Welcome to Rising Up Conversations. My name is Daryl Mathers. I'm with the Communications Department here at Ontario Shores. And today we're getting to know a little bit more about a department and a group of people that have done excellent work before the pandemic, but uh, especially during the pandemic with all the challenges uh, that we face collectively as a mental health hospital. And to talk about that, we have uh, Jennifer McDonald, who's the manager of uh, nutrition and food services and stores on Ontario Shores. I'm sure there's a few other things in your title as well, but um, welcome, Jennifer. Thank you for, for being here today. Thank you for having me, Daryl. So if we can just start by telling us a little bit about uh, nutrition and food services and stores and, and the work that they do each and every day. Yeah, so on any given day, I'll, I'll speak to nutrition services first. So a uh, part of our core responsibility is to provide uh, meals to all of our inpatients. Um, all of our meals are cooked in-house um, and prepared by uh, Red Seal chefs. So we're quite lucky in that regard. Uh, not many of us left in, in the province. Um, and also to provide snacks and other uh, meals to our patients. Um, our food is then uh, prepped on a belt line um, by a group of six individuals. And then it's uh, sent off through our Burlage meal uh, delivery system to the inpatient units and handled by clinical services. Um, nutrition services also takes the task of retail services. So our cafeteria, catering, although COVID uh, has put a bit of a damper on that. Um, and from a stores, which is now by the way, uh, called SPD, which encompasses mailroom and CSR. Um, so they're responsible with receiving goods uh, in the organization, distributing um, supplies like PPE, oxygen, um, and other supplies to the inpatient units um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So when the pandemic hit, how did the environment change in, in those particular areas and how did you guys adapt? So in nutrition services in particular, um, you know, we had to balance the IP and C within the organization, so infection prevention and control, but we're also uh, inspected by Durham Public Health. And so we fall under the restaurant uh, realm. And so there was restrictions around, you know, um, in-person seating and how many people can be in the physical space. Um, catering obviously was not permitted anymore as you couldn't have uh, groups of people congregating in a certain spot. So we reallocated some of our resources to support patient services. There was a higher demand. Uh, we also supported community services where our outpatients were struggling with food security, something that was new to us, but definitely that we rose to the occasion to support. Um, and the staff were all really engaged in providing that service. Um, for stores, again, SPD, um, it was really hard in the beginning. We were struggling to get PPE and there was a lot of days that, you know, um, our staff were like quite uh, overwhelmed working sometimes till nine, 10 o'clock at night, just to repatriate, repatriate, sorry, N95 to make sure that our, um, our staff would be safe and to ensure that we would have adequate PPE. So um, that both groups really uh, rose to the challenge again, to ensure that not only our patients were safe and were taken care of, but also the staff. When you guys were going through all of that and adjusting, was there something about the teams that you work with that impressed you? more than than maybe something else like was there something that stands out that really uh, caught your attention i think um i think during the pandemic really you know i think we all know that staff were struggling this is really a hard change on a non-clinical area both in stores and you know obviously at nutrition services but i think their sheer dedication to the organization um you know we they never once kind of said no i i didn't want to do something it was always you know what could we do uh to help our patients more um, and I think that was one thing that, that I was really proud of. Um, there was a lot of also collaboration between um, nutrition services and, and the clinical units and SPD and clinical units. And everyone just really pulled together and helped each other out. Was there something that in particular that kept your teams going? Like what is it that drives your, your individual teams to perform at that level? Um, 
Well, I, I think it's it's twofold. I think one, it's each other. Like everybody really made sure that everybody was in a good space. They helped each other out. Um, and then, you know, I, I think they also were proud about the fact that they felt really lucky to work at Ontario Shores. You know, they they often would say how safe they felt working here, but it was also just about the sheer dedication to our patients um, and to each other. And I think um, that was something that really came to light uh, during this pandemic. And I, I, I'm quite proud of that, the, the groups for ensuring that they were protecting each other. Is there one thing or a couple of things that you wish everybody could know about uh, your teams? Yeah, I think, uh, so one thing, you know, I think, um, the groups are, they're really, they're a really good, humble group of people. They, they have a lot of pride in the work that they do. Um, and they, they love what they do. And, um, I think the teams that I obviously, I have the privilege of working with, uh, day in and day out are true examples of the people who are often sometimes forgotten during the pandemic. Like they are often, you know, the unsung heroes. Um, and so, um, and the achievements that this group has made, um, I think has been a, a direct result of their, um, uh, you know, their, 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 their um, they know the fact that healthcare is something that's struggling right now. And they never once wanted to say, you know, that isn't my job. They always wanted to come together. And I think that's one thing that out of this whole pandemic, I'm extremely proud of these groups. Um, and I think if, if there was one thing that I would take away, um, I must, I'm, 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 I'm extremely lucky that I was able to work. Um, with these groups of people. You kind of answered my last question a couple of times when you talked about different points of pride that you have uh, in your teams over the last year plus in dealing with uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, but is there anything else or one that is higher than the other in terms of what makes you proud about working with the teams that you work with? Um, I, I wouldn't say so. I just, I, I just feel that they all have um, you know, put every, they've put people before themselves. I think that's the key thing that I'm most proud about. And I, I also feel that, um, in the grand scheme of things, I think, you know, a lot of our people have had a lot of challenges, um, and they still made every concerted effort to come to work. And I'm so proud of the group for that. And again, it was always about what more could we do to support our patients, our community partners, um, and I think that's one thing that, and it was, it did, it was no effort at all. I think the, the, the key message I think that I want to share is that, you know, in order for someone like me to be successful, you need a good group behind you. And there never once was a time where they said that we wouldn't kind of go along to ensure that the organization was supported. And I think that's one thing that I'm, I, I have to say I'm extremely proud of. And I think also the collaboration with other areas. Well, thank you very much for sharing that and all the the stories and I appreciate you, uh, everything you've done and your teams have done for Ontario Shores and their patients in the last year. Thank you. Thanks, Daryl. I appreciate you guys taking the time to talk to me.